Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam, and this is the Subscriber Sunday video where subscribers send in photos of things they're proud of in their yard, flowering things, whatever garden photos you have. Some people will send me things to identify. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. Uh, and I include those at the end of the Subscriber Sunday videos. I'm gonna be doing these, I've been doing them every other week, and I think I'm gonna stay with that pattern. It seems to work well. Uh, this week I've got three subscribers who had sent in uh, photos that are included at the end of the video. Before that, I have pictures that I took at Pender Nursery this week. For those of you who didn't see the video I put up a couple days ago, I was at a nursery in Garner, North Carolina and took some video there. And at the same time, I took a lot of photos that are included in this video. Before I get to that, I wanted to tell you that I'm starting season two of the propagation series very, very soon. And I'm going to be building a metal house. Uh, for those of you who watched last season, we built this little PVC house. I'm going to tear that down. We're going to upgrade it big time. I have this manual pipe bender, which actually is available on Amazon. I'll link it in the description of this video. You can get these where you can bend tubing for a 10 foot wide house or a 12 foot wide house or a 20 foot wide house. You just make the call and it's a different, slightly different shape to the top of this according to how big of a house you want. Mine is for building a 12 foot wide house so that's my plan here's an example of one of these hoops i've built bent with this years and years ago from another house i had it makes really nice uh easy and quick work of bending kind of light gauge steel tubing so if you're interested in one of these like i say it's linked in the description of this video and they're extremely helpful for what we're going to be doing i plan on putting bottom heat in this house big upgrade from what we had last year because i'd like to do some hardwood cuttings before it warms up in the spring also, we could start some vegetable plants in it, which is a great option for getting ahead on our vegetables next year. And then by the time that's finished, we can actually start doing cuttings next year in our upgraded house. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and go back and watch some of last season. I'll link that playlist up here and down below if you're interested in watching any of those videos from the past. Another big project I have going on right now is I'm actually emptying out my nursery now. For those of you who've been watching my channel, you know I'm closing my growing nursery operation. I'm keeping my garden center where I'm standing right now, but I'm in the process of bringing all the plants up from there up to here. And I've got my front parking lot just absolutely chock full of plants or on the way to being full of plants. By the time I finish, there won't even be parking at my garden center, unfortunately. But I feel like at some point you just have to say enough is enough. I can't sell down to the very last plant in that space. It just goes on and on and on and on. It's easier just to kind of say, okay, we're done with that space. Let's move out of it. It's quite a bit of work, but uh, it'll be worth it. Everything will be up here and I'll be able to cover it in one location that's already winterized, meaning it's all pot to pot. I've got my covers up here, ready to cover it. Big giant project I've had going on for the last week or two and will continue for another week or two. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. And here are the photos from Pender Nursery and the subscribers.